my channel. This, oh, this angle looks sucks. How too small? <laughs> Let's get it. Hmm. I think this angle is okay, and it's a little bit white on this side, and the background is not very beautiful, but it's okay. Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about editing a B-roll sequence using Filmora Nice. So you know that I published my B-roll sequence about the bicycle I yeah, yesterday on my channel, and it is just a short film. Uh, I film it in 10 minutes or 13 minutes and edit it uh, in about an hour with all the effect and sound designs and overlays everything on that bit on sequence very fast and then I export it and uh, publish to YouTube I want to show you the way you can edit a bit on sequence like that uh, with Filmora 9 so let's go to the software I will show you one by one uh, how I import my A rolls and how I overlay my title and how I I use the music and how I you know design the sound for for that beat on sequence let's go all right so here's the timeline so my editing timelines for the beat sequence as you see that we have multiple layers on this timeline this is the last and this is effect and effect and this effect and this is the main video track on the timeline and this is the music music I use in in this video and it is a sound effect like whoosh and slide and pick turn and so other thing so as, as you can see that there are so many things on the timeline so I end up uh, not talking about uh, details about how to add uh, the effect the filters and uh, how I do speed ram and how I add music and to the timeline rather other than that I will explain my workflow so you understand and you can do it in your your own ways creatively because it will take an hour two hours to explain all this all this stuff to you okay so we go back to the camera so we can talk easier and better sound better video quality okay wow okay so it's nice to be back with you so in my editing style, there's five important steps I usually do with my B-roll video. The first step, I would bring down the footage onto the timeline and then I will cut out and want a part in the, in, in the video because uh, you know when we're shooting B-rolls then we, I mainly use a handheld, not, uh, not a gimbal or, or anything else. So just uh, we have the, at the beginning of the footage and at the end of the footage we use camera wipe and pan and some, uh, so something more more than that so the camera movement we can cut out it cut out and remove all of them if we don't want to use in camera transition in the b-roll and the second thing I will bring down the music my my music and listen to the music and adjust the cut with the beat the main beat of the songs because we have main bit, for example, it's about one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then we cut at that point, and one, two, three, four, and there, there are also smaller bit, because I'm not a, a, an audio guy, so I'm very bad at music, listen to, the, to music, so I, I want to cut it at the main bit, one, two, three, four, and then cut, 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 and af after that, I listen to the song and play together with the, the video again and find some small piece, uh, small piece. <laughs> so after I finish with the music, I go ahead to the transition. So this is a very interesting part. Normally I use in-camera transition and also add some transition uh, of Fimura 9. But my favorite one is the flip right and left and up and down and I, I also create my own transition by adding shape effect and draw my I mean uh, RGB uh, glitch effect between the, the, the clip to create my own transition and also sometimes I put some filter uh, at the transition position so that uh, to create to create my own transition in Filmora and you can also do the same. So there are some some viewer asked me about how to create uh, our own changes in Filmora. Then you can go ahead to 
put filter on top of uh, your video track and between the um, between two clips and that will make a, a new transition it's creatively uh, it's it's a creative way to, to create transition in Filmora 9 so be creative about that and number four we go ahead with filter and video effect and shake effect and something more so we have my main video track and uh, music track so we have two track and transition is between video and I, I would use two or three three layers three layer three track for for adding video effect like filters and shake effect and something like that on top of the, the video track and number five after finishing up everything I go ahead to add sound sound design for the, the video because it's important when making a video we have a sound design a nice uh, sound design um, honestly speaking I'm very lazy I'm very lazy about design sound because I think it's the I just use a swoosh uh, transition so uh, sound effect uh, of the transition of course we have swoosh and pattern and and down below, I also walk, ar uh, walk around with the, the whoosh. I reverse the sound and something like that. And in the B-roll, the, if there's text, uh, typing text, then I add typing uh, sound effect, and that's all. So I know that many, many other, many other video editor, they add a lot, a bunch of sound effect into the video, especially when you watch a uh, travel video from Brandon Lee or or Sam Coder or some uh, all this guy add a lots of sound, uh, many sound effect in, into their their video. So you should uh, work like that. But if you follow me, it's just just easy. Just between the changes and uh, woosh and shh, 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 and that's all. So finish with the sound design. And finally, finally, uh, number one, two, three, five, five, fifth, fifth step. I want to to uh, I I usually do with my B roll is apply a lot for the video. Normally, I don't use a lot in my YouTube video because I think it's it's kind of funny. You just uh, uh, you just make a, a YouTube video for vlog. Uh, it's a vlog. Why we have to use a lot? It's not cin cinematic. It's not cinematic video. It's not a movie. But the B roll B roll look like look like a movie and. I think it's cool to use lots. So finally, I add a lot on top on top of the uh, the timeline. So it's above everything else on the timeline. So that finished. So that is how I edit my B-roll videos. So it's different, right? So uh, how do you think about that? Let me know in the comment section below because it's just my way to create a B-rolls. It's not yours and you have to be creative about making B-rolls. Don't follow, do not follow me or any other, other YouTuber. They are, they are different. They make, uh, they make B-rolls in their way and you should make b roll in your way also. Okay, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. So, what do you think about this video? If you like the video, be sure to let me know because uh, otherwise I go back to the normal voice I use on my channel. It is uh, take to speech, not my voice. Can you hear me? Can you understand me? Let me know too. So today I shot with my Canon 800D and a kit lens. Also the uh, road mic, road mic, mic go. So I think. In my opinion, the quality of the video is good and the image quality and the voice and sound, sound of the uh, video is good. But how do, you think, uh, how do you think about that? Let me know also. Okay, bye now.